No celebration or anniversary is complete without the culinary masterpiece that is cake, but there are cakes which are rightly called the flag bearers of the place where they were invented for Ukraine. This is Kiev cake. All around the world, the cake is traditionally put in the center of the table. Thus, people show their respect for this delicacy, the symbol of happiness and a sweet life. There is an institute that measures the happiness index in each country. Ukraine ranks 123rd out of 157 countries. You have to agree that this is a very low figure, so we try to give people a bit of happiness. However pompous it may sound, a piece of a delicious cake improves my mood. It turns an ordinary weekday into a holiday. We want to make a contribution so Ukrainians can increase their happiness index daily and feel happy. This is the goal of the Ukrainian confectioners have set for themselves, and they are doing their job rather well. Ukrainian cakes, like the famous Kiev cake, are sold not only in Ukraine, but also abroad. We export products to Europe, Asia and America. Our products are loved and constantly bought both domestically and abroad. Exporting the Kiev cakes was made possible by the latest deep freezing technology. The ready-made confection is frozen at 38 degrees. All the customer has to do is unfreeze the cake at room temperature. The taste is not so lost during freezing. That is a well-known fact, so frozen confectionaries are bought eagerly around the world. No matter where you are in America or Ukraine, you can buy the cake and see for yourself that it is the same everywhere. Now, the genuine key of cakes can be purchased in many stores worldwide. Despite the well-known recipe, few manage to bake it like the Ukrainians do. You can make a cake, but it will be different from our product, because every cake has its secret. The highlight of the key of cake is the porous nut layer, which is created using special techniques. In its classic formulation, it is made of proteins, sugar, flour and nuts. The story of the famous cake is actually quite interesting. Allegedly, in 1956, at the Kiev confectionery factory, some egg whites were forgotten in a freezer overnight, and then they were used to bake a cake. That so-called erroneous recipe turned out to be, in fact, very tasty. But the confectioners themselves argued that they worked purposefully on the creation of the key of cake. That's why Anna Kurilo was granted the inventor's certificate in 1973. <laughs> In fact, nobody can say for sure exactly what happened. But what matters is that we got a great product as a result. As to how it has reached our days, leave us, leave that to history. Some of the ingredients of the Kiev cake have changed over the years. For example, today it includes hazelnuts, which have replaced cashews. Protein cream was replaced by buttercream. But the protein shortcakes with nuts that made the confectionaries so airy and crunchy are still made by the 1956 recipe. Our plant has two laboratories. The first one is the technological laboratory, which controls the psychochemical parameters. The other one is the sanitary bacteriological laboratory that tests raw materials for microbiology. We put quality above everything else. The HACCP system has been implemented into the production, and we are developing the ISO system, which is now very well known in Europe. According to the classical recipe of the Kiev cake, the proteins are fermented for 24 hours. The temperature must not exceed 40 degrees. Then they are whipped into a powerful mixer until foaming before the sugar syrup is added. The confectioners point out 
that sugar is not suitable for that because then the shortcakes would not be brittle. But even this stage has its secrets. No one will share for how long the syrup has to be boiled. The shortcakes are then left to cool for several hours at room temperature. After that, they are covered with cream. The cream is made from butter, condensed milk, sugar and brandy. Finishing is done by hand. The cake is constantly weighed because it has to weigh exactly one kilogram, while the smaller versions must weigh 500 grams. Our pastry chef goes through each part of the process with knowledge, skill and love. So in the end, we get a product made with love. Today, it is difficult to say who and when the cake was invented. Some argue it originates in Italy. Cake in Italian means intricate, which is the perfect word to describe it. The French also claim to have invented the cake. They have invented the most famous desserts, creme caramel, jelly and biscuits. There is also a story that cakes came out of the East. The Persians and the Arabs were the first to put lit candles on cakes. Thus, the theory of cakes originating from the East is also quite likely. New recipes have been appearing through the ages. For example, the world's most famous chocolate cake was invented by the Austrian Franz Sacker in 1832. The recipe of the original Sacker is still kept secret. Purists say that it can be only tried in the Vienna Hotel with the same name. In Soviet times, few had heard about the Austrian Sacker, but there was a similar cake called Prague cake. Its author, head of the pastry shop restaurant Prague, Vladimir Harunuk, had made it his goal to repeat the Viennese recipe but he invented a very special recipe instead. This cake does not relate to Prague in any way. Many might think that Prague and Prague cake should somehow be related, but the Prague cake is, in fact, a variation of the Sacker. The Prague cake consists of buttercream and biscuit shortcakes soaked in brandy. On the top, it is covered with chocolate fondant with fruit jam. That, of course, isn't the whole story. The bakers have also got some secrets. Only apricot jam is used, and the buttercream must not be whipped for too long so that the cake can hold together. But in Prague, this cake is hardly known. Oh no, I've never heard of it. And you are from Prague? Oh yeah, I'm from Czech Republic. You can find dozens, if not hundreds, of different cakes, pastries and other confectionery products in Prague. The most interesting thing is that the residents of Prague are unaware of the cake by the same name. Sometimes when I visit Ukraine, I share this cake with my friends and colleagues, and they like it. You have to agree that there is something special about taking a Prague cake made in Ukraine to Prague. By the way, the creator of the Prague cake did not file a patent for his recipe. So confectionery factories of the former USSR began massively producing the cake. But the Ukrainian enterprises have developed their original recipe, Prague cake with cherry. The cake is made with natural cherry that emphasizes the flavor of the cake even more. It is more pronounced, delicious and much richer. Fresh cherries are frozen and processed with a special gel that is imported from Europe. This processing is necessary to preserve the shape and taste of the cherries for a long time. The Prague cake is made by the classic recipe. Our craftsmen have developed more than 50 variants of the cake. We have unique traditions that cannot be learned in any book. You can become a pastry chef or you can become a technician. You can learn certain things in college, but you cannot learn to be a pastry chef in your soul. It is the culture of the company which was formed over the years. Each year on July the 20th, the world celebrates the International Cake Day. 
Despite its name, it is not dedicated to bakery, but to the friendship between nations. However, what else to visit friends with, if not with a cake? Ukraine, like any other country, has its own confectionery masterpieces for treating and surprising guests. <laughs>